How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop. At the request of fans, today we're replacing the thermal paste on the Lenovo ThinkBook 16 plus 2023. Let's reduce the CPU temperature by 3.5 degrees Celsius in six simple steps, easily improving your laptop's performance. Tutorials for replacing and upgrading thermal paste on laptops are available in the main tutorial collection on our homepage. You can also comment with your model if you need specific guidance. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Step 1. Get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Prepare a PH0 screwdriver to remove the 9 screws securing the back cover. It's advised to use a magnetic mat to avoid mixing or losing screws. To open the back cover, have your triangular pry tool and spudger ready. Stand the laptop up, align the triangular pry tool with the seam along the top and side of the back cover, and insert it. Repeat the same operation on the other side. Work your way around the body to gently release the clips. Be careful not to use excessive force to avoid damaging the back cover. After opening the case, use two spudgers to carefully push the power cable connectors out and disconnect them. After disconnecting the power, remember to press and hold the power button for 15 seconds to discharge any residual power. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Peel off the sticker and use the spudger to disconnect the right side fan cable. Then do the same for the left side fan. Using a PH0 screwdriver, remove the five screws securing the fans on both sides. Use a high-quality screwdriver, such as the Cooling Monster Combo 01, and apply vertical pressure to prevent stripping the screws. Moving on to the middle cooling module, unscrew the three screws in numerical order to avoid uneven pressure that could damage the core. Then peel off the sticker on the cooling module and remove it. Afterward, remove the fans, taking care when removing the left side fan because it has the Wi-Fi antenna. To clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. Be sure to clean off the remaining thermal paste on the cooling module. Step 4. Clean the fan. Prepare an anti-static brush and compressed air to clean the dust from the fans and the cooling module. Use the brush to clean off dust. Then use compressed air to clean the finer details. When using compressed air, remember to keep a small distance to avoid liquid spray. After cleaning the cooling module, clean the dust from the body of the laptop and use compressed air to clean the finer details. Don't forget to clean the back cover, as dust can accumulate there too. Step 5. Apply thermal paste. Here we used Cooling Monster Cold 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-Size method if you like. Step 6. Reassemble your laptop. Install the fans back into place. Reconnect the Wi-Fi antenna.
align the cooling module with the holes, press it down, and reinstall it. Using a PH0 screwdriver, screw the 5 fan screws back in. Then, follow the sequence on the cooling module to reinstall the cooling module screws. It's recommended to tighten the three screws to about 70% first, and once all screws are in place, tighten them fully to avoid excessive stress. Afterward, reattach the sticker, reconnect the fan cables, And finally, reconnect the power cable. Once everything is back in place, close the back cover, snap the clips into position, and screw in the 9 screws securing the back cover. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.